hello and happy December. Um, I'm Rihanna and I am returning for the second, uh, second year of, um, I Like Needles, the Vlogmas. Um, so far I've only done Vlogmas, uh, eventually maybe it will be a podcast. Um, I don't know. So far, uh, it's really fun to just do it, uh, during the season of darkness, uh, which I call darkness, which is my, uh, celebration, uh, since I don't celebrate Christmas. Um, but I still wanted to have something fun, so, uh, darkness it is. Um, anyway, so welcome, uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. It's going to be kind of an everyday, uh, just I'll sit and I'll show you things, um, maybe talk a little bit about what I did today or what I'm going to do, uh, later because I will probably record these in the morning, uh, before it starts to get too bright. Um, I don't know, there's not really, uh, a room with perfect lighting, so, uh, here it is. Um, yes, yeah, so as I said before, I'm Rihanna, um, I am the maker over here at the Moon House. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, well, I guess, uh, I'll jump right in with, uh, some, uh, crafty things. Um, I am knitting. I'm knitting quite a bit, uh right now. So, um, how about, uh, here, here is a tiny, uh, tiny little, uh, sweater, uh, keeps me in the sleeve. Um, this is, uh, the pattern is, um, Miriam Felton. Uh, there are many, many tiny sweater patterns. Uh, so I don't know, I might try a bunch of them. Uh, so yeah, this is a tiny sweater. Um, it's made from some alpaca. Um, it was gifted to me, uh, by, um, a friend, uh, out of their stash. Um, it's pretty old, but it's super soft and, uh, it's going to make really cute sweaters. Uh, which I am planning to hang on the, uh, sorry, it's a little crinkly, um, the grape, uh, vine leaves. Uh, this is pretty big. <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping to make quite a few of them and hang them on here to celebrate sweater weather. Um, <laughs> So, yes, hello. Um, these are grape wreaths that I collected uh, in in my backyard. Uh, we have quite a few um, feet of wild grape that uh, they, uh, they grow everywhere. So this summer, um, I, I was out with my partner dealing with plant uh, plant stuff and we, uh, we trimmed them, we trimmed them down from the trees that we didn't want them climbing up on them. Uh, so we had a ton of vines at the end of that. And so I, uh, twisted up a whole bunch of them and, uh, yeah. So I made some decorative, uh, wreaths for the house. Um, and this big one, I'm going to turn into a decoration for the winter. Uh, okay. So the next work in progress, um, is just there in a little bag that's down here next to me. Um, okay. So the next work in progress is something that I have complained about on Instagram a bunch. Uh, it's this never-ending sock tube. Uh, I have never knit a sock tube. Um, 
so I wanted to give it its fair uh, shot. And so far, it's uh, it was exciting at first, um, and now it's just endless. So uh, I still have a good bit to go. So this is just um, this is my mindless knitting, uh, and it lives in this bag, which is chevrons, and in the inside. It has little alpacas. Um, I got it at a craft, um, a random crafty shop in, I believe, Merrickville, Ontario, uh, for people who might be in Ontario. Um, it's a little village. Uh, yeah, so I got this there. Um, that's all the projects that are in there. Um, and I only have one more work in progress. I've been trying to keep my knitting projects pretty minimal um, due to hand budget constraints. <laughs> um, so the last thing is uh, the beginning of a brioche headband. Um, this is a pattern that is from Isolde Teague and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I can't quite remember the name of it. It's uh, maybe North Wind or something. I'm gonna check. Uh, got my iPad right here. Um, yeah, so it's um, it's a pretty basic little headband. Um, I really needed a headband for walking the dog. It is very, very windy here. Um, so, uh, let me just open this page. Yeah, I was right. It is the North Wind headband. Um, and I think it was maybe part of a class or something. Um, but anyway, uh, it's got a turban style. Um, I guess, I don't know. Um, twisted, twisted little detail, so. That is the pattern. Um, I just I just started this, so uh, we will see how it progresses. It's really cold, and I really need it, so um, maybe I'll get it, it done more quickly. Uh, but the sweater sleeve is really tiny, so um, it really should come first. Uh, yeah, so cute, so little. Mm. Um, okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna talk about for works in progress for uh, for today because I do want these to be kind of short and um, I can be pretty chatty. So uh, we will just dig into the works in progress. Um, there aren't any more knitting works in progress, but there are sewing and drawing and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so I, um, F.O.s, <laughs> I actually, uh, I have a couple of them too, uh, but I tested fate, uh, is that what it, I tested fate, and I put the first one in the washing machine on the hand wash cycle, and I haven't checked yet, so I don't know <laughs> if it survived. Uh, so I will just show you my finished object that was the test knit that I did um, just to tucking the ends in on one of them because I didn't uh, weave in the end on the uh, second knit. I guess it's not really an epo if the ends aren't woven in. Um, but anyway, so here it is. Uh, these are some fingerless knits uh, that I made for my partner to wear in a, a school band parade. He is a band teacher in a high school and they have this thing that is gonna happen outside um, at the, I guess, end of the term. Anyway, they're too big for me, but uh, we'll put them on. Um, well, I only 
need to put on one. Um, but yeah, so it's a self-striping yarn that um, the pattern detail is really cool. It's kind of getting lost in the camera, but um, basically you, uh, you work a pearl ridge on the color changes and um, it's magical <laughs> the way that it, uh, it looks with the, uh, the different, um, the different colors showing through the ridges. Uh, so it was really fun to work on just, you know, one stripe after another, after another, and you just kind of kept going and kept going. Uh, so that was fun. Um, this is made, uh, it's a pattern that's written by, um, Shy, who I think has the Witchy Knits podcast on YouTube. Uh, and I can't remember her Instagram handle, but I might be able to figure out how to put it down in uh, notes or something. I'm going to publish this on YouTube and on Instagram, uh, but I'm still really new. I did this last year and I totally forget what I did. So we'll figure it out and then you will know for sure uh, who this was. So yeah, um, that's my finished object. I think tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys how the, um, sweater, uh, event turned out. Um, yeah, so, uh, I guess other fun things. Um, I took a walk with the dog. It is very cold and windy. Um, there were a few flakes of snow, so I was very glad for that. Um, I uh, I took a little bit of footage, so I will put that in um, for you to enjoy uh, now. Ooh. Welcome back from your dog walk. Uh, I have just a couple more things to um, to chat about. Um, I made bread this morning. Well, I made it. I started it last night. Um, I've been experimenting with my sourdough starter, um, so I. Uh, I used um, a different ratio of bread to water um, and water to starter, obviously. Uh, and then I put it in, um, you know, in for its overnight uh, rest. Uh, and I just took it out of the oven and I have to wait until it's cool to be able to cut into it and taste it. So I think it turned out nice. It's a nice color. It popped up pretty good. It doesn't feel hollow, so it might be a win. Um, it's a sandwich loaf. Uh, that is my sourdough um, work right now, just making sandwich bread. Because uh, we're toast and jam people in this house. So um, yeah, uh, that, that was good. Um, I have one last thing and it's something kind of silly. I don't know. I saw a lot of people had these, uh, little calendar things where, um, they open one every day and they get a little treat and I've never had something like that in my life. So in September I bought, um, I bought a tea one. Uh, it's a little tea calendar and I hid it in my closet and I waited, um, but I forgot to start it, um, early so that I would be finished on solstice. So either I drink a couple teas tonight, um, or I just, I'll just start it and it'll be that. So I'm going to open it 
uh, and share with you the tea uh, that I will drink later tonight. Um, usually I, when it's dark, I get a little tea and I sit and knit or watch something or all of that. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I'm gonna grab it. It's underneath this wreath. That's excellent. Okay, I got it. Um, it's uh, it's from David's Tea. It has this uh, festive, um, very bright festive wrapping, which I am excited to open. Um, oh, it's got stickers. Stickers. Peel these off. Uh, I did not check in advance. So here we are. Classic unboxing content for you. Um, I realized I just put that on the table and there's a perfectly good garbage can right at the end of the table within my reach. So let me just grab that up. And there we go. Uh, okay. So oh, it's upside down. Here we go. Um, day. Oh, this is really cute. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this. It's not in order. So that's really cool. Um, it's like a little hunting for your tea. Okay. So I know these will be backwards, but them's the breaks. So yeah. I'm gonna open the number one tea and we will see what it is. Also, I'm probably gonna reuse this packaging because it's really cool. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, little, little box. And the tea is called Pama Grateful. So, um, it's going to be tart and luscious super fruit. That is what I can look forward to uh, today. So, apple, pineapple, hibiscus blossoms, white tea, pomegranate seeds and blossoms, rose petals, stevia extract, and natural flavoring. So, this is going to be in my cup um, later. I'm just gonna open it and take a look at the smell to see, really see what I'm gonna be getting. Maximize the anticipation. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's very pretty. It has, mm, it has a very sweet smell. So this is gonna be super delicious and I'm going to celebrate treating myself. Uh, number one, number one rule of darkness. Treat thyself. Hail thyself. Uh, yes. So that is probably going to be the end of my chit chats for uh, this uh, first day of my vlogmas. Um, this all tied back up and I'm gonna put it in the work in progress basket uh yeah so that is gonna be it for me um I have some ideas for this time and uh it was really hard not to just go 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 with all of them with right now so uh thank you for watching um I hope you enjoyed the little peek into my day um, sorry, this is probably really long. <laughs> uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.